This video will guide you through the process of creating your first React application using NPX and Vite. Whether you are new to full stack application development or looking to enhance your skills, this tutorial will provide you with the foundational knowledge to kickstart your journey in modern web development. Here's what we will cover in this session. What is React? What is Wheat? Why use React with Wheat? How to create React project using NPX and Wheat? Exploring the project structure and running your application in local environment. Let us start understanding what is React. React is a JavaScript library developed by Facebook for building user interfaces. It allows developer to create reusable user interface components that efficiently update and render as data changes. React is widely used in modern web development because of its flexibility, performance, and the ability to manage complex state within an application. So what is Vite? Vite is a modern build tool that improves the development experience. It is designed for faster and more efficient development compared to traditional methods. Vite optimizes our code for production, resulting in smaller and faster builds. Why use React with Wheat? By combining React with Wheat, we will get the best of both the features. One is React allows us to build interactive UIs with reusable components. Wheat enhances the development experience with faster builds and easier project setup. This combination let us build high performance web application with minimal configuration and maximum productivity. Let us start creating a React application in both the methods. First, I'm going to create a React application using NPX. Then the same will be created using Wheat. For creating a React application, first we need to create a directory called Workspace in any of the local disk. Let me create a folder in D colon. Uh, here I'm going to create a folder. I named the folder as FST. This folder I'm going to use as a workspace. All my projects will be saved in this location. So after creating a directory in any one of the local disk in your system, you just click on the address bar, then open a command from, from this location by executing this command, cmd. Now it opens a command form in that particular directory. And then we can open VS code by using the command code space dot. Then enter. It opens VS code for that particular location. So VS code is open for the workspace FST, which I created in local disk D drive. First, let me show how to create a React application using NPX. Then the same will be created using a Wheat. So after opening a VS code, we should take a terminal. So there is a three dots here. Then you can choose terminal and then select new terminal. Once terminal is opens, here we can see that it opens in power cell mode. Since it is a Windows environment, the terminal should be in command prompt mode. Let me change the mode of the terminal by click on this icon and selecting a command prompt. Now there are two terminals, one is for PowerShell and another one for command prompt. So we need a command prompt, not PowerShell. So that I'm going to delete the terminal which is available for PowerShell. So here there is a delete icon to fill the terminal. Let me create a React application using NPX. So for creating a React application, first we need to ensure the required packages or softwares are installed in the system or not. To make sure whether the node is installed or not, we need to execute this command, node space and hyphen v. It will display the version which is installed in our system. 
so we have uh, i have the note version 23 then i'm going to check npm is installed or not so by executing the command npm icon v it gives the version of npm this is the latest version 10.9 so npm is also available then npx comes bundle with npm so we can check npx also by using the command npx icon v so both the versions are same that means npx comes as a bundle with npm so all the required softwares are installed already so that we can start creating a react application for creating a react application using npx by we need to execute the command npx space create react app create icon react icon app is the command name then followed by we need to give the project name so let me give the project name as my app with npx so my app app icon npx enter so it will creating a directory structure with the required files for react application now the project is ready then we need to enter into the project so by using the command cd space in the project name my app icon npx so navigate to the project directory then we need to start installing npm the npm space install so after installing npm we need to start a development server so by using the command npm space start this will launch the application in your default browser uh, with the port number 3000 by default this is the output of the created project using npx so project is running on the browser with the port number 3000 let us go through the directory structure uh written back to vs code this is my project i created now so explore the project it has the following directory structure the node module contains all the dependencies that required for the particular application then public is a folder here we can save all static files and the source codes are available in the src folder uh, the package.json contains the dependency details this will help us for deployment so let me change uh, the content of the code which is created by default so that um, app.cs is the style for app.js this app.js is the main component in this case so let me open app.js so i will remove the content inside app.js here i'm using h1 tag just i'm displaying the message hello world then i'm using h2 tag react application using npx so then save the changes what you made here then you can check your output in the browser so return back to your browser whatever changes you made on app.js that is reflected in the browser so if you want that is this is the default port number for react application which is created using npx if you want to change your port number then you can go to your directory project directory that means right click on your root directory name and create a new file with dot env this is called environmental file so how we need to create this file by right click on the project root directory then choose new file option enter the file name as dot env so create a environment file 
there you can define the port number of your application port 812 whatever you want you can change the default port number for this particular application is 3000 i want to run this application in another port number uh, 4000 suppose i want to run this application with the port number 4000 we can define the port number in env file so after making changes we need to restart your application so for restarting we need to post to stop this particular execution use control c to terminate the current job so it will ask your confirmation so then enter y now the execution is stopped then you need to restart your application for restarting execute the same command that is npm start so now the project is restarted it will open in the browser with new port number 4000 this port number is defined in the file env like this we can create a react application using npx and we can set the port number for this particular application next i'm going to show how to create the same react application using beat so i leave this project as it is then i'm going to terminate this execution by using control c then i give the confirmation by entering y so the project is terminated now i'm going to create a react another react project using beat creating a react application first we need to come out of this current location so it is in the directory my app npx so by using the command cd space dot opt so now i am in the workspace folder the fsd is the workspace folder inside there is one project called my app npx so in this workspace i am going to create another project using a wheat for creating a project a react project using a wheat we need to use the command npm create wheat at the rate latest and followed by your project name my app hyphen wheat is the project name so npm create space wheat at the rate latest and then followed by a project name so then press enter it creates a project then it will give a prompt so here we need to select a framework which framework we are going to use use a down arrow and up arrow select your required framework i'm using a down arrow now it pointing the framework vue but i want to create using the framework react so again press a down arrow it will be pointing the framework react then enter so next we need to select uh, the variant whether it is a typescript project or javascript project so let me choose by using a down arrow i am selecting either javascript or javascript plus swc swc stands for speedy web compiler so we can choose either javascript or javascript plus swc let me choose javascript plus swc then enter first we need to enter into the project directory by using the command cd my app hyphen wheat once entered into the project directory then we need to install npm npm space install so now npm is installed next we can start execute this project by using the command npm space run space deb so run this application in development environment here you can see the link where the project is running so just press control and click on the link it opens in the browser so this project is running with the default port number 5173 this is the default port number for the react application which is created using wheat 3000 is the default port number for the react application which is created using npx and 5173 is the default port number for the react application which is created using wheat if you want to change this port number you can go to your directory structure let us go through the directory structure first 
then we can change the port number. In this directory structure, node modules, it contains all the dependencies required for this project. Then public folder will have all static content. Next, SRC folder contains the source code. So app.cs is the style for the component of and uh, app.jsx is the main React component. Index.cs is the global style. And the main.jsx is the application entry point. And index.html is the main HTML file. Vid.config.js is the Vid configuration file. So if you want to change the content uh, open app.jsx, app this is the content displays the default logo for wheat and react now i'm going to change the content of app.js for app.jsx here i'm going to write by using h1 tag hello world then by using h2 tag react application using wheat then save and so now open a browser refresh you can see the changes this is the content i modified in app.jsx so the default port number is 5173 for the react application which is created using wheat so now i'm going to change the port number for changing the port number uh, in previous method, I created one environment file by right click on the project root folder. Inside the environment file, I defined the port number. But in this case, uh, you need to go to the file wheat.config.js. In this file, there is a there is a function called define config. Now I'm going to set port number for the server. Here, one of the e is port and the value for the port number i want to execute this application with the port number 5848 if you save you can see the terminal there is a change in the port number previously the default port number is 5173 after updating the port number in v.config.js the port number of the url has been changed if you give the port number in the URL, localhost colon followed by the port number which is defined in the configuration file, uh, then we can see the result in the browser. So like this, we can change the port number in React application which is created using Beat. So this combination let us allow to build high performance web application with minimal configuration and maximum productivity.